today I'm going to show you a very simple way to align your food to you to make it more palatable and to make it match your body vibration. Okay, this is a really important trick if you're about to have a meal and you want the food to nourish you and support you in the best way. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Natasha the Cosmic Empress and I'm here to support and enlighten you like the food is going to do for us in a moment. So let's get started right away. So let's say you're about to have a meal. I chose this, a couple of little snacks, a nice apple, a little bit of chocolate and some fig bars. Okay, so let's say you are going to eat your food and you wanna make sure that it's a good choice and that it will vibrationally match your body and not to cause your body any harm. Now, first of all, the most important thing is, this is not a free-for-all to go to the next greasy burger joint and eat three burgers and vibrationally match the burgers to you. No, that's not the point. The first step, of course, is in conscious eating and being healthy is making the best choice that you can in the moment. Most of the times it's good, sometimes, you don't have that many choices wherever you are and you make the best choice that you can. Okay, so let's say you've made the best choice that you can. You have your plate of food in front of you. So now the first thing we want to do to vibrationally match that food to your body so that it can have the best possible effect, that it does not affect you negatively, that it doesn't drop into your stomach like a stone and that it doesn't raise your blood sugar too much, that it doesn't affect you negatively, we're going to do this. First of all, we're gonna reevaluate. We're gonna look at the food and just be consciously aware in the moment and just feel into it. Just say, hmm, okay. All right. And then I want you to take one breath and just feel the state of your body. Just become aware of your own body, your vibration, how you're feeling. And look at the food again. And feel into that. And then maybe you'll be like, okay, all right, no, this is too much. I'll take one chocolate off. Ah, okay, no, let's see. The fig bars, maybe they're too much. So that just makes you a little more consciously aware of how your body feels when you're looking at this. So let's see, for me, three pieces of chocolate, an apple, the apple, yeah, feels good. Okay, no, I think this is too much. I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna take this off for now. We're just gonna stay with this. Okay, so again, I kind of look at that and just pause for a moment, be present with the food and with the feeling in my body. It feels good, excellent. So I'm going to eat this food. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to Put my hands around the food like this. Take a breath and I'm going to make a blessing symbol over the food. And it doesn't matter which one you use, it's the one that you use for blessing. I may make a Ricky symbol. I might, might paint a cross on it. I may just put a heart on it like this, love me. <laughs> whatever symbol, whatever you feel is right for you as a blessing, we do that. Then again, cup your hands around it and again close your eyes and take a deep breath and then say the following doesn't have to be the exact words but say something like this this food is now vibrationally matched to me at all levels of my being to nourish heal and support my body, mind, and spirit in the most effective way for me at this moment in time. I bless this food. I am grateful for this food. This food is now a vibrational match to my body in this present moment in time. This food nourishes, heals, enlivens, supports and satisfies me and what I need in this moment. This food is the perfect match for me. 
and I can already feel the heat coming out of my hands, the energy come out, out of my hands into this food as I'm blessing it. And now the last step is closing your eyes and just visualizing the energy, the vibration of the food matching the exact energy and vibration of your body. And then you can just imagine the food vibration and the energy vibration of your body just merging, merging as the perfect match. And you could actually do this like this, the perfect match, and you go like this. And now I feel that it's done. I feel that this food is now perfect, perfectly aligned to my body. So I say, it is done. It is done. Again, I put the blessing symbol on or the cross or whatever. And then this food already looks so much better to me. I already feel so much better about this. I know that when I eat this, it's going to nourish me. It's going to be perfect. It's going to be just the right amount. And it's going to be the best that I can do in this moment in time for my body. And it's going to be positive. And that's all you have to do. Um, so just to go over the steps really quickly once more, make the best choice that you can in that moment. Take your plate of food in front of you. Then look at it for a moment, evaluate. Just evaluate your body in one breath. And then, okay, no, maybe change it. Take something off, put something on. If you feel kind of like a little bit of repulsion and going, mm, your body's kind of doing something strange, then don't eat it. Then just choose something else because you may have just been completely off. I mean, you cannot match poison to your body to nourish it, right? You know what I mean? So change the food if you need to. Then if you feel, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. That feels about right. Then hands over the food. Blessing symbol. Statement. I am vibrationally matched to the food at all levels of my being. Nourish, heal, support, enliven, satisfied, satisfy me in this moment in time. I am a perfect match for this food. The food is vibrationally matched to me. Then close your eyes. Feel the vibration of the food. Feel your vibration merging and it's done. There. And then you eat it, okay? Okay, so of course you can change this process up just a little bit. You can use a statement that's slightly different, but I think you know what I'm talking about um, in general about that vibrational match. And the science behind it is that you are an incredible, powerful, energetic tool. You yourself with your intention and your intention used in a very specific way and using your hands, your fingers, the tangible force, the energy, the chi force, symbols and spoken intention is actually a very powerful way of manifesting the change that you want in something or charging an object. Some people call it a spell, right? So that is the power of your intention, how you can Make sure that the meal you're going to eat is good for you and is going to nourish you and is going to really do its work for your body. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope this has helped you a little bit. I'm going to continue this little series. I'm going to talk about how you can charge water to heal your body, how you can charge water to lose or gain weight, and how you can go into deeper healing regarding food and medicine as well with these simple tricks and this applies for any kind of theory eating philosophy diet eating style medicine any belief system that you have it's absolutely you are divine your food, it tastes twice as good. Oh.